Then Tony's out. Maury looks like he's staying. Tillman Fertitta looking at a recording of reports. Ty Lu, Jeff Van Gundy. Like them both, but that feels like, yo, we're just gonna get, we just gonna run this back. There's not a whole lot we can do to retool this team other than trading James Harden. We got no assets, we got no picks. We're just gonna run this back and let's change for change's sake. But does Van Gundy or Lou in your mind, do they get this team where D'Antoni couldn't get them? I'm trying to figure out why we keep putting Ty Lue in these situations where this team needs a psychiatrist more than they need a coach. <laughs> We're trying to push Ty Lue, Ty Lue to Philadelphia. We're trying to push Ty Lue to Houston. Neither one of those options are really, like, you know, appealing for me if I'm Ty Lue. But to me, Houston needs so much more than a head coaching change because I don't think Mike D'Antoni did anything less than what Daryl Morey wanted him to do. When you present that roster with no bigs, and you tell you want James Harden to control all the possessions, and then you throw Russell Westbrook, who can't shoot, hmm. won't defend, and will not like sort of uh, join himself into a, a team atmosphere, sort of with his style of play. Like Russ is going to be Russ. So tell me how a coach is going to change that. James Harden is 31. His style of play is his style of play. I don't think you can win yeah. a championship with an offensive player like that who controls so many possessions from one part of the floor. He's only going to control possessions from the three-point line and out. Defenses are staring at him. He doesn't go to the post. He doesn't move around without the ball. You can't win like that. So I don't know what they're trying to do other than maybe remain a different type of second-round team because unless you change the roster, different type unless of you – <laughs> I'm mean, seriously, they're a second-round team, and they might not even be no, back next no, year. Like that Golden State's going to be back. <laughs> it's just a different type of like, second-round team. Yeah, why, why, it, you, and, you, you, you just don't look different. And they and they and they bought, they went all in on the roster, right? I mean that that whole thing, that whole small ball thing. So it's funny you don't have D'Antoni, but you still have the remnants. You got his fingerprints on the roster, whether he's there or not, right? No, you got Daryl Morey's fingerprints on the roster. The numbers man, the guy who says we're not playing basketball, we're playing numbers. And what the problem is when you play numbers, and then it turns into a playoff series. Invariably, numbers don't always turn out, Mike. I won't say numbers lie, but I will no, say that numbers that. don't always <laughs> play the way that they need to play. And you saw it. they didn't have enough size. They could not control the boards. And those are things that cannot bear itself out in one-game exhibition seasons, which is basically what 82 games are. They are one-game sample sizes, and you try to add those things up. When the playoff series, you got tendencies, you got familiarity, and sometimes you can't put P.J. Tucker on Anthony Davis and tell him, you know, just try to bully him <laughs> for, for five or six games because no matter yeah. how hard I try, I'm five inches shorter than Anthony Davis. So for me, unless they turn over the roster, and I think they should be open to uh, trading James Harden, to be perfectly honest. Like, I don't think this roster is going anywhere else. It's expensive. It's old. It's unlimited. It's limit, limited. So I don't think any coach, Jeff Van Gundy, Ty Lue, Newt Rockney, Chuck Daly, Rudy Tomjanovich, I don't care who you bring in. You can bring in, you know, Teddy Ruxpin. You know, it doesn't matter who you bring in. This, this roster is a first-round team next yeah. year. And Houston hates me, but hey. it's okay. Houston will be I'm all right. Say, you, went from a, you went from a second round to a first round. <laughs>